Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's an interesting day. I'm using my Revo 16 in the marsh. Uh, that's my 16 foot kayak. You're kind of new. I've had this kayak for a while. I didn't use it because I had to redo the rudder lines, um, which is like a four or five hour process. And I also needed to rewire the fish finder. Now that I have a cracked kayak, well, lo and behold, we're back in it. Uh, we're gonna have to do some bait fishing as it is two o'clock in the afternoon, about 95 degrees outside. We got to see that stuff out there. That's got a couple of thunderstorms behind us. I'm hoping they're just some localized stuff that's gonna break apart. Above me is nice and clear, but it's a funny area this time of year, man. Other than that, looks pretty beautiful out. A little bit of wind, but not too bad. So uh, let's see what we can catch. All right, man, let's do the sheep's head stampede. Looks like that thunderstorm dissipated. Lucky me. And let's see if the, the fish guides are gonna smile upon my fortune right now. It's a possibility they might, or they might give me the big donut. We haven't done too much uh, bottom fishing out of this kayak, so it's kind of a different experience. More up close and personal experience. And, uh, well, it's a decent black drum. Size eats pretty good, but I'm all right. I got some flounder from the other day and stuff. I kind of want to give these guys a try in the smoker, but uh, we'll see. Maybe if we really start beating on them, we'll keep a couple. For now, send them back. There we go, got sunlight. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's an adventure in this boat, man. It's always an adventure. I don't know. It's gotta be red. What else could it be? Woo -hoo -hoo. Mundo backwater. Oh, he stabbed me good in the foot. That's a pretty good one. Solid sheep said, man. We got ourselves. Uh, he's probably like, uh, I don't know, six, seven pounds. He's a, it's definitely a big one. Not an easy boat to do this sort of fishing on, man. It's a tougher, uh, tougher experience. Uh, that was fun, man. That was almost scary. I thought he was going to rip me out of the kayak, man. Fighting a sizable fish vertical on this sort of platform is a, it's a different experience. Uh, when you're fighting them out there and they're running around, but when you're fighting them straight up and down, man, and, uh, and they're green and they got some pull, it's interesting. Oh yeah, looking like a someone's anchor, huh? Gotta be a sheep. Little one, huh? Dinker. Dinky, dinker, dinky little sheep. Porgy says. Couple of nibbles. Nothing sticking yet, though. Yeah. 
Quattrum crab eaters on the bottom sweeper black drum oh he's beat up he's been like escaping sharks look at those scars man man that's a big teeth mark he dodged Whew. some big teeth marks pretty slow outing uh two black drum two sheep's head and uh not much i'm not like pounding on them but one that that first sheep said was nice size Funny fighting these fish on this boat, man. Doing this. He's not gonna like what I did to him just now. Puppies are in town, huh? These are puppy drum, black drum, huh? It's not bad. Good, good stuff, man. It's good stuff. It's a fun, fun type of fishing. If you've never done this, it's, it's not dumb. It's actually really enjoyable catching drum on sheep and sheep's out on crabs, light half ounce jigs. Ton of fun, man. All right, there it is. Uh, not great, not terrible. Uh, three black drum, two sheep's head. One was a nice sheep's head. Um, we were just more or less shaking down this Revo 16. Um, so here's what I think I'm doing, gonna do in my head. So this boat, I kind of want to sell because it's out of warranty and I've been on a not so great streak of luck lately. So uh, this boat's for sale. Uh, if you're interested in this Revo 16 and you live in the North Carolina area and want to pick it up, it's been uh, it's been stored outside under a tarp for uh, years, um, and it's performing just fine. My temperature gauge was reading 89. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It's actually possible back here. If I wanted meat, that would have been a pretty good meat haul too. So I'm good on the meat. So hope you enjoyed.